Good day, everybody. How's it going this week? Well, this week we're going to talk about a topic that's a little closer to home for my particular species, and we're going to have some sort not really news, but rue news, sort of rue, you know, a rue topic, and that is the concept of a soda rue. So, so what the heck is a soda rue? Well, soda rues were actually a concept that came about in 2010 um, and it started um, with this concept of taking kangaroo characters and giving them colorations based off of soda products I don't know how that started really I don't it's like I don't know how that idea just sort of popped into that guy's head at one time but interestingly enough it took off and the reason it took off is because that person um, who created and, and developed that concept um, had a friend and himself, and they both basically commissioned um, a kangaroo fursuit on it. Um, one was based off the colorations of a Dr. Pepper, and the other one was based off a coloration of Livewire. And that inspired a whole bunch of other designs, some which had fur have made fursuits, others which are just concepts. Um, and you can find a link in the description below to an entire group that they have. So let's uh, show you some examples of these. So here we have um, the first two that were uh, the, basically the original uh, head of Amelius of these zoo roo suits, or roo, soda roo suits. So you have over here, you got your Dr. Pepper one, which was the, basically the, the original. And then you got your live wire one over here. And that fella in the middle is not really a kangaroo. <laughs> that guy's a mongoose, but he's in a kangaroo's clothing. So uh, that's Mangusu, and Mangusu is a well-known fursuit dancer. Um, he used to dance in a fursuit called Monsteru. Its coloration is obviously based off of the monster energy drinks. Very high in sugar. A lot of sugary, sugary substances these roos drink make them bounce all over the place. Now, if the term soda room might sound familiar to you people on YouTube, then it's probably because you heard it from the concept from another furry YouTuber um, who mostly covers fursuiting and fursuits as her sort of stint into the fandom. And she's the most popular furry YouTuber, <laughs> the most popular Rue YouTuber on the channel. So I've got <laughs> quite a ways to go. I think she's over 100,000 subscribers. Um, I think she just recently got her own silver medal. Um, and that would be uh, Picari Roo, who is color, whose coloration is based off of um, the soda of Picari. I believe this was her older suit. Um, she's gotten a newer suit recently. Uh, I believe this picture is of her older design. Now, just because you know coloring, uh, coloring kangaroos based off of soda drinks is popularized, it doesn't mean that necessarily every single kangaroo furry is based off of sodas for instance my coloration is basically original I, I didn't get I didn't have any inspirations from any sodas whatsoever or anything like that but uh, so anyways I think that's enough for for today and uh, what's this what's this what is this What is this? Orange vanilla Coca-Cola. When did when did this happen? This thing here. It's it's red and orange and white colorings here. Really? Really? Dang it, you know. <sighs> I was an independent Roo who didn't need no soda drinks. And here comes Coca-Cola with its with its orange vanilla freaking Coca-Cola. Freaking taking my coloring and putting it on a soda. So now I'm retroactively, now I'm an involuntary soda Roo. Now I'm involuntarily a freaking orange vanilla Coke Roo. And I, I didn't need no sodas. I was with my own original colors. These colors are mine, man. These are my colors. You took my colors and you made it into a soda. 
sort of rude. Uh, I'd get the put up the end card. Put up the end card. I'm done. I'm done. I'm getting off out of here. Uh, some people chose the Sotoru life, but now it looks like the Sotoru life chose me. Uh, no. My name is Tantru. I'm not Orange Vanilla Coke Roo. Jeez. Dang. Dang it. Ah. Uh.